Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today is something exciting. I would like to unbox my new GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. Before I start, let's talk about how I ended up with this camera first. And I would like you guys to put in the comment section down below your opinion or if I did the right thing or wrong thing and then we start unpacking. So, a couple of days ago, I was offered to buy DJI Osmo action camera. And for what I do, sound like DJI Osmo action camera was the better choice, because I do a lot of product reviews and a lot of health videos, and I like when I see myself in the camera, so when I film, uh, I can see feedback, I can see where I am in the picture. And, um, one downside that I found with the GoPro Hero 8, it doesn't have that front-facing camera. So the feedback of what it is won't be there. However, I was reading reviews how people compare them and literally cameras are very comparable side by side. People say that stabilization is better on Hero 8 and a um, couple of other things. But conclusion was the cameras are almost identical for what they are. Biggest difference is in the price and stabilization and other things that GoPro can offer. So I thought how many times in my life I buy camera like that? Maybe many times, I'm not sure, but at the moment it looks like maybe not more than once or five years. So I decided to spend a couple of more dollars and end up with GoPro Hero 8. And the reason is that because the conclusion was if you're doing a lot of um, bike riding, action shots and things like that, uh, you better go with GoPro. And that's my intent. Many people ask me to go more outside and film tropics, film bike rides, film more action. And that's what I intend to do. So just let you know. And another reason why I bought a camera in the first place is uh, people start shaming me by filming on my mobile phone which is fair enough. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm here to create a community where I help people. And I thought the footage uh, of 1080p from mobile phone is good enough. Um, and maybe not. So thank you so much for your input. I'm listening. That's the next camera I'm gonna my, film my video with. So what did I buy? Uh, I buy my stuff on Amazon. And uh, the reason is that I don't have time to go shopping and probably I don't want to go shopping. I put link down below when I got my camera, but you know, taking this opportunity, also got uh, myself a um, SD card. I didn't buy 256, I ended up with 128, and I decided the difference in price I would like to put in a faster um, memory card. It's not the best one, right? But it's that happy medium that many people that use in GoPro recommend. So what we would do on picking today, uh, we do on picking of uh, SD card of camera and maybe I'll create additional video of um, what my first impressions of the camera. I'm not a professional uh, YouTuber, I'm not a professional unpacker. The reason for this video, I just wanted to, uh, there's a lot of people in America that unpack and there's a lot of promotional packages that come with SD cards with spare batteries. I wanted to create video that shows unpacking from perspective of simple buyer. As you would walk in the shop, you'll get your camera and what to expect. Because this looks like big packaging, I seriously have no idea what's inside. So I'm quite curious as well myself. Before we start, can I please ask you a favor? If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. All right, exciting bit. Let's do this. And I will try to be, um, I know as precise as possible with my wording. I, I'm 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 filming my videos uncut, unedited, and I've got only one camera to open. If something is not right, I'm sorry, guys. But uh, that's my first go. Let's open. So first of all, the camera is packaged very nicely. It's very good feel about this. Uh, there's all promotional materials around it. That's what basically you see in a shop. And there's a little strip that you pull, and I guess packaging opens. So let's do that. It's nice and firm. All right, we're opening that um, box. And what is inside? All right, 
it's not coming out easily, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, maybe something else holding it. Let's have a look. I cannot see anything else that's holding it. Oh yeah, no, I just got caught uh, by something else. All right, so packaging is uh, on one side is basically see-through glass and uh, carton packaging. And what we end up with is the camera and I guess instruction book. Um, I've got a couple of papers here, I'll have a look in a second. And I think all the manuals here. And if we open that box like that, we'll see that it has USB-C charging cable with no charger. I think they're assuming that you can charge from your mobile phone if you're using mobile phone. Uh, that is GoPro Hero 8 battery. And let me say, I did a bit of research. I want to buy spare battery, and usually I buy my batteries I know, uh, cheap on uh, Amazon or eBay. Uh, I've been told that that blue strip, specifically done for GoPro Hero 8, the additional functions that related to battery that's unique to GoPro Hero 8. So if you're buying yourself a batteries, please read a little bit more about this so you make your uh, informative, uh, informative decision uh, and not to lose some function of uh, camera because you bought uh, battery that cheaper by a couple of dollars. So, so far we've got uh, a battery, uh, a cable, a book of instructions there and looks like um, helmet adhesive mounting which is great because I don't have any um, anything for this camera i'll probably go on amazon and buy some sort of uh, kit that would um, have a couple of uh, straps and and holders and i'll post again a video with what i've got there now what we've got here that's a camera how do i mount it all right so there's a one kind of lever to kind of lift it up and the press buttons on the side and slide it forward that's how you unmount the camera and it completely unmounts and I think that's done just for packaging and that's the camera here and I think okay it says to remove it there's a little thing here that say remove um, I guess it's just uh, done for packaging purposes and we need to remove it for if you would like to use it in the future. Yep. So that's actually another interesting part of this camera. And this reason why I bought it, because if, if I would like to put it on a table and have a stationary, the holder here is uniquely designed. So they actually can fold a camera can stand on a table and record if I don't have any holders. But if I do have holders, they come in like that and, and basically uh, mounts on a holder on top and then screw screws in so it looks like um, I'm not sure what this one for I think it could be just uh, uh, to hold camera while transported um, all right I'll just fold the um, holders in and from what I understand I need to pull lever down there's a lever on the side so one side you've got power button the other side you've got lever which shows the red color when you open it up and then um supposed to lift up and i've been told not to lift it too much because it will snap it won't, won't snap broken it will just snap and you need to remount it so there's no reason to um to actually open all the way up now um I've also been told by people that are using it that uh, you need to put SD card first and then battery, otherwise it's inconvenient to put SD card in. So let's do that. So I've got some um, SanDisk uh, uh, SD card I bought on Amazon as well. I'll put link down below where I got mine. Again, reminding it's 128 gig. I think it should be enough for me to uh, 
create videos that uh, then I'll transfer 128 gigs still uh, enough uh, enough space Alright, I'm not sure why they're picking in a way that it's inconvenient to get out. But I guess we're almost there. Okay, the card is out. Or almost out. I'm just trying not to break the card. They are so fragile. Alright, the card is out. So what we will do... Um, I just try to show how I put the card in. So that's the card, and I'll just guess slide it in. I think the wrong way. Yep, slide in, and then kind of click it in, and it stays in. Uh, and the battery, the battery has a um, kind of, um, you know, lever to get it out, but also it just, I guess, slides in like that. Ah, it's nice and neat. Um, closing back the cover and closing the side. I guess side is really important to close well so you don't see red. If you're going underwater and camera is waterproof up to 10 meters, uh, water not to get in. So that's kind of important bit. And I guess that's just a protective case here. There's a picture here of, um, on a screen. I think it's protective case. I tried to remove it. Yeah, it is protective case and I'm removing it. So yeah, camera is nice and neat. Um, that's the camera good size good camera and i'm yet to test it so that should replace my samsung galaxy s10 plus that i'm currently recording on so for next video can you please let me know in the comments below what you would like me to do do you want me to go through the menus do you want me to um shoot in different uh, different scenes uh try stabilization compare it to other cameras or also, let's discuss the difference between GoPro Hero 8 and DJI Osmo Action. Because, seriously, it was a really hard decision because uh, Osmo Action, to me, was cheaper, $150 cheaper. And I'm still questioning whether I made the right choice. Mm -hmm. So, if you think I made the wrong choice, please let me know in the comments down below. If you would like me to test something or compare with something else, please let me know as well. And I'll do it soon. For now, I'll go and charge it and probably do some software updates and set up my environment. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane. Until next time.